What's good, YouTube family, man? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Before I get started, I've been gone for five days. I would like to say rest in peace to my homie Grizzly. You are appreciated, brother. We will see each other again one day. If not in this present time, I will see you again soon, brother. You ain't forgotten, bro. Rest in peace to the homie Grizzly. Let's just get back to this video here, y'all. Now, there's a lot of things going on with this 600 situation. We know the end of Team 600 is very near. I don't mean to hate, but it's true, bro. When you bring in rumors and guys is telling on each other, guys is pinpointing who's talking, you got to come back to your nature and be like, bro, a lot of things ain't making sense. I'm about to show y'all a clip right quick so I can break this video down. Now, this is 600 Breezy years ago on Vlad TV talking about we seen the paperwork of Taste 600. We seen everything. And my thing is, we don't pick no sides, right? But we do have to pick a side when it comes to the truth. Meaning that I pick the side of the truth regardless. I don't care if it's my own mama involved, brothers, wife, kids, homies, neighbors. Bro, if the truth is involved, the, the side of the truth got to be picked. Or what we doing this for, bro? Now, I'm about to break down this whole interview this dude did with Vlad TV. I want y'all to check it out right quick. This is your boy. 600 Breezy talking to Vlad TV and, and things to me didn't really go the way he expected it. Now listen right quick. You showed up? Yeah. Hang and on, let's go to the uh, 445. Cheese. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Say Cheese TV interview. Same as. Okay. It was, it was, a, it was a group thing. So, so they get arrested and then they're waiting trial for like two years, right? Yeah, like uh, two years. Only Rondo and C-Day like sat and fought for trial. Nobody. Remember, he said only Rondo and C, they set info for trial. Yo, so was trial. Everybody was telling. Okay. 600 Breezy just told you everybody was telling. So why is 600 Gang only putting pressure on Tay 600 if everybody was telling, huh? Remember the two females involved? It really was four females. I didn't even forget the other names in the paperwork. But the two females who bluntly on them paperwork told... He didn't bring them up. Yeah, he said the only paperwork they had during the time in for the trial was C Day and Nine. Whatever they grabbed was Tyler. Like so, they, they they just saying anything. Like they it's really bullshit because the one person be like, Oh, I seen C Day shoot him and the one person be like, Oh, I seen Rondo shoot him. Like who's telling the truth? Well why why were so many people you know, willing to, to speak on the situation. I have no fucking clue because I don't... Remember, this nigga said he got no clue why people was ready to speak on this situation. But yeah, he goes in a whiff for raw of explaining the entire case as if 600 Breezy was the lawyer, was the judge, the executioner, was the witness involved, was the victim, what, what was the court procedures for the appeal paperwork. Man, this nigga 600 Breezy, what he... According to him, bro, you was everything, bro. And you got to watch. Look, I, I like 600 Breeze, bro, as a rapper. I'm not going to be fake here. I enjoy his commentary and his rap. I enjoy what he brings. But in the last few years, bro, you look shaky, bro. Like, why is it? Look, you got to watch niggas who do all this talking. You got to watch these niggas. Pay attention to what he says in this part right here. Because I got a chance to get close to Tay, like, after the fact. You know After the fact, sit down and smoke. Remember, this is him explaining how he met Tay 600. As far as after the fact, the events of the case and all whatever, you know, he got to see him face to face. He's basically gonna allude to he know Tay 600 snitch just by getting a feeling. But time out, nigga, don't you got the paperwork? Why do we need to know your feelings, bro? You know how many niggas got killed based on another fuck niggas feeling? How this dude felt about this dude over here. So we got to run to your feelings now. Nah, bro, we need paperwork. So let's listen to him, how he break down. He seen the paperwork. Not just him. Everybody seen the paperwork, according to 600 Breezy. Look at him and, look at him and, and have a conversation with him. Because I done been through shit. Like, well, I know it's going to come out in the black and whites. You know what I'm saying? And everything. So... He said he knows it's going to come out in the black and white. Nah, 600 Breezy, you said you seen the paperwork. Nigga, it's 2020, bro. When is the paperwork going to come out? We damn near already, bro. We are we already retired 2020. We Who else? Raise your hand if you ready for 2021. I just lost my homie five days ago, bro. Like, 2020 sucks, bro, for everybody. And yet, we still don't see no paperwork for Tay 600. Shout out to the boy Tay 600 for real, for real. Where is the paperwork, bro? 
That's all we waiting for is your paperwork. You end up going to, to the trial. You showed up. Yeah. And you said in, uh, I think it was a Just Cheese, uh, sorry, a Say Cheese TV interview, that you saw paperwork. Everybody seen it. Okay. Everybody from my hood. They went Everybody it, seen it. But the lawyer let us see it. The lawyers, the, the prosecutor? Like, well, whoever. Okay. He said the lawyers let us see it. Anybody who ever dealt with the judicial system on both sides, whether you're the victim or this and that, and you go through the lawyer procedures. Number one, you just snitch on your own lawyer talking about snitches, idiot. Lawyers ain't supposed to show you confidential paperwork. No matter who's involved, even if it's you, you ain't supposed to show it to your family if you went in there allowing them. And in some cases, based on the case situation, even if you give permission to show it to this X, Y, and Z, they still not allowed to. So you low-key, not even low-key, you just literally just snitch too. Second of all, even if this lawyer got a, some type of paperwork, bro, how come this paperwork didn't get pushed out? to the other sources of paperwork yet, whether through a pill or what not. They supposed to show this is what the other parties involved use to declare their innocence. So where is this paperwork, bro? 600 Breeze, you cat. All cat, bro. Uh, I can't even remember. I can't even remember. I'd be high. I can't remember to tell you if it was the prosecutor or the lawyer, but whoever. I'd be high. I can't remember if it was the prosecutor or the lawyer. Shit, they ain't even. How the hell the prosecutor show? Bro, you 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 weird, bro. You should have stick to the defense attorneys. How the hell the prosecutor? Why would the prosecutor attorney show you this shit? You didn't even have to say, I don't remember if it was the prosecutor or the lawyer. Bro, the prosecutor's not on your side. Why would the DA office show you paperwork who snitched on y'all or not? You niggas is wild, bro. In fact, I'm going to let 10 seconds more play, and then I'm about to go in, bro. Was on their side defending them. They came and let us see who said what. Who was defending Rondo? Yeah. Ah, so Rondo's lawyer... Showed you this paperwork. Mm -hmm. So now it's Rondo Lawyer who showed you the paperwork. But my man literally just told y'all he don't know. That ain't me who said that. Y'all man just told y'all he don't know, folks. This whole thing with the Taste 600 situation has shown you. Guys don't really know what they say, man. Guys know they had in-house beef way before, you know what I'm saying, C day 22 shots, got involved in that situation, Rondo number nine. Guys already was picking sides in the clique. Remember before the whole incident took place, we seen certain members not really hanging with each other. If any of y'all follow the wave of this booming effect of the Chicago movement from the beginning, bro, you remember a lot of guys wasn't, Big Swirl already told y'all that, Rondo number nine, brother, he already alluded to things like certain, this is when Big Swirl didn't really speak a lot, he was just a guy in the videos that can't hang with me, videos and all that, doing all the signs and symbols, which I'm not gonna do, because I ain't part of they set, and a lot of niggas been was saying, bro, niggas ain't really rocking with each other like that, check the videos, that's y'all receipts right there. Niggas wasn't locked up during that time Why they wasn't rocking with each other. So when I see 600 Breezy, bruh, bringing that, you can tell he dick hopping on another nigga's wood tip. He don't want to let other niggas he ride with down. He don't even seem like he got real anger for Tay 600 like that. So I'll keep it a stat. Look like you ain't even had beef with Tay 600 like that. But during that interview of Vlad, you got to pick size of the guys. Everybody dick riding against, you know, who. So you got to hop on the town and be like, I'm in on this too. Take 600 showed y'all all the proof. And Take 600 said something powerful, bro. Forget the fact that he spoke to me. Forget about that fact. Look at all the times and all the receipts, bro. Everything Tate been telling y'all since day one of this. He ain't never been caught slipping a line. But we caught every single member of 600 lying about this whole case from Buka all the way to Dirk, all the way to Mimo, all the way to 600 Breeze, bro. All the way to, um, I can't say Jess Blow. I can keep going, bro, to all the way. Rest in peace to the dead ones who died. Niggas ain't came with nothing credible yet. All I see is niggas don't like Tay 600. Niggas ain't even call out the female names. If I, how you don't call out the female? Bro, do these females got a big brother or a daddy that got that pressure on you, niggas? This shit look wild, bro. You put pressure on Tay 600, but no pressure on everybody involved. You said it yourself, 600 Breeze. Everybody in that case is guilty by nature. <laughs> Not naughty by nature, but guilty by nature. Fam, like, this this thing is wild, bro. I can't sit back and pick a side, but I damn sure can sit back and be like, you know what, I'm with the truth. And the truth is, Tay 600 ain't rap, bro. You know how bad they'll love to put that paint on Tay 600? I'm talking about... 
the federal troops or whatever it was state case or not, bro. Because they'll get the more niggas to start rolling in, bro. The fact that you said the prosecutor shared information with you and then went, I was high. I don't really know. Yeah, yeah, Rondo number nine lawyer. How the hell you get confused from a prosecutor and a defense attorney? My nigga, this whole thing is done, bro. The whole clown is, bro. You can't save face. You niggas set trip on your own brother, bruh. Your own brother that was bringing the waves to make y'all get money for everybody to eat. Now you took a little sentence in Indiana. You sat for a little bit. 600 Breeze, you ain't the same. It ain't just you, bruh. I'm not really on your neck. I'm just on everybody who lied about that fluke-ish. And I feel like you need to come and fix it. If you don't fix it, you deserve to be on the back burner. No death, no nothing like that. But the truth is, you put that jacket on people, niggas will get rid of you. You put the snitch jacket on people, niggas getting you out the paint, bro. Box you out the paint, back into the paint, bro. And that flash night need, need to be on everybody who done lied on, on this dude, bro. Look, I just wanted to do that to clear up because a lot of people didn't want to go back to them tapes, man. Go back to all the tapes of everything they ever spoke wrong about Chase 600. And you will see ain't been nothing but clout chasers, lying ass niggas. Niggas ain't really like that. Niggas who couldn't wait to take you out your glory, paint, whatever you want to call it. Man, I'm your God bless one, man. It's been good rocking with y'all. I cannot stand the fluke ish. I'm your God bless one, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, man. Wild, wild times we living in. Stay blessed, y'all.